Our vision is to be the cleanest tannery in the world, and we have for the past three decades been working with the environmental aspects of the tanning process. To be the cleanest tannery doesn't mean to produce the cleanest leather, but to have a minimum impact on the environment and to be one with nature as a company. Let's take a closer look at our treatment process from an environmental point of view. In order to produce one hide of high quality leather, we will now show what we put into the production process and also how we deal with the waste. The choice of correct raw material is part of our recipe for success. We use primarily Scandinavian cow hides. They are the most expensive in the world, but also the most beautiful. When the raw hides arrive to the tannery, they are treated with salt and weigh about 28 kilograms. The salt prevents bacterial attack during transport and storage. The size of one hide is approximately 5 square meters. Let's start with the transportation. The CO2 emissions from transport are usually a significant part of total emissions, but since 2000 they have been gradually reduced by 16%. That's because we primarily use Scandinavian rawhides, which are being sourced locally, and we're consolidating the deliveries of chemicals and other materials. Today we have two main tanning methods, chrome tanning and chrome-free synthetic tanning. From an environmental standpoint, there's no difference between the methods as long as we take care of the wastewater in a proper way. Both methods could be devastating if not taken care of properly. A tannery uses, on an average basis, approximately 50 cubic meters of water per ton of rawhides. We have today been able to reduce this to only 20 cubic meters per ton of rawhides. Using less water in the process also enables us to clean the wastewater in a more efficient way. Water is being supplied from the nearby river next to our tannery. Through planning and restructure, Elmo has, during the past five years, reduced the energy consumption by 11%, from 9.52 megawatt hours down to 8.54 megawatt hours per thousand square meters of leather. The result is the finest and the most environmentally friendly leather in the world. The weight has been reduced to 4.05 kilograms. Let's take a closer look at what happened to the rest of the original hide. The hair, which has been removed in the liming process, is being distributed to local farmers and used as an environmentally friendly fertilizer. Compared to artificial fertilizers, this also causes less nitrogen emissions in the groundwater. The split is being sold to either the leather and bycast industry or to the food industry where it is being recycled into gelatin. Leather rests and leather shavings and trimmings are being sold to local energy producing companies where the untanned leather rests are recycled into gas and tanned rests are being burnt to produce energy. Other wastes, such as paper, metal, plastic, etc., are today recycled. The waste that is not being recycled has been reduced by 98% since 1994. At Elmo, we use only water-based solutions in the finish. With improved technology, the emissions of volatile organic compounds in the air has decreased by 50% since 1999. The emissions today are only a tenth of the limit given by the European VOC Directive. At 
ELMO, we will contribute to long-term and sustainable development while continuously reducing the impact on the environment. In 2004, we invested in a new water clean facility using an innovative system for nitrogen removal. The innovation of the plant is the implementation of a nitrification and denitrification step in the treatment of tannery wastewater. In the first step, the wastewater is pumped from the tannery into the first aeration tank, where microorganisms are grown to oxidize a great part of the organic matter and sulfide in the wastewater. Oxygen is supplied through aerator mixers to secure a stable operation. In the second step, the final purification takes place in the second aeration tank. The nitrogen is present in the wastewater mainly as ammonia. The nitrogen removal is a biological process performed in two steps, nitrification and denitrification. In the first biological process, the ammonia nitrogen is oxidized into nitrate. This process takes place in the presence of oxygen. In the second process, denitrification, the nitrate is reduced to gaseous nitrogen, which escapes into the surrounding atmosphere. The denitrification takes place under anoxic conditions where oxygen is not present. After further filtering, the wastewater is released back to the river and is in many aspects cleaner than before. The wastewater is checked for more than 40 chemical substances before leaving the cleaning facility. LIFE is the EU's financial instrument supporting environmental and nature conservation projects throughout the EU, as well as in some candidate, acceding and neighboring countries. In 2007, ELMO received an award for being one of the 22 best environmental projects throughout Europe in all categories. We will not be satisfied until our wastewater can be served as drinking water.